there's a lot going on in Northeast Asia. Um, but the key to everything right now is bringing uh, North Korea into the community as a viable, productive player. Um, the things that have happened recently, uh, some of them are really remarkable, um, are, have changed, of course, the atmospherics here in, uh, in Northeast Asia, especially with North Korea, because North Korea was pounding the drums uh, for war and uh, threatening the United States and all these kinds of aspects. Uh, and having such an impact that students from Russia and Vietnam were being withdrawn by their parents from our school. I mean, there are a lot of people who were taking the media representation of what's going on in North Korea as uh, a fact. And uh, we, you know, in, in South Korea, uh, it is not really taken to be that serious. And uh, so we live with it every day. <laughs> so uh, in, in essence, um, I think what we have in front of us is a, a long period of time uh, where we bring North Korea uh, into the community as a productive player. Uh, we do that through uh, significant infrastructure rehabilitation, the railroads, the highways, the electrical distribution systems, all these kinds of things that are basic, the water system, reforestation because they've just absolutely denuded the mountains using the wood to support this poverty-stricken uh, population. Uh, so there's a lot of things to do, but the South Koreans, uh, the United Nations Development Program, of course the United States, uh, Russia, China are all willing to play a major role. And of course Japan is, is another key here because if Japan uh, normalizes its relations with North Korea, uh, there probably would be some sort of um, significant payment. Uh, much like what was given to South Korea when, when South Korea and, North, and, and Japan normalized relations. Uh, that payment being for the occupation of Korea from 1910 to 1945 and the uh, uh, unbelievable hardship and tragedies that were um, put upon the Korean population at that time by the Japanese occupation. So uh, we could expect maybe a $10 billion uh, payment at that time probably would come in the, in the form of grants uh, and not, not seen as guilt money, <laughs> but uh, that would be a big boat uh, to North Korean development. So all these things have to come together.